In my blog last minute cheat sheet for GCP PCA exam, I list four decision trees to help you to choose the right services in the exam. Today, let's work through the second one, Computer Options Decision Tree. The decision tree starts with the question, Are you developing the mobile HTML file app? If so, choose Firebase. Otherwise, if you are developing the event-driven app, then choosing Cloud Functions. If the application has some specific requirements such as a specific OS or kernel or GCP access, or it's required you to lift a shift from on-premise to public hybrid or multi-cloud deployments, or the monolithic workloads, a user, um, user of protocols beside HTTPS, then you should use the Google Compute Engine GCE. If you plan to use Kubernetes as a orchestrator or the apps leads containerization, then choose Kubernetes Engine GKE. Otherwise, you use the GAE Google App Engine plan the platform as a service option to build a highly scalable web and a mobile and applications on fully managed the platform. Again, I summarize the computer options decision tree with the keywords in the user cases for you to easily remember for the exam, like I did for the other decision trees. You can find the details of the comparison among GCP compute and processing options in my blog. I include the cloud, uh, Google Cloud run in this table, even though I didn't have any questions on, on this one in the, my exam, but since the cloud run was GA at the end of 2019, I think you will start to see it in the exam. Cloud Run offers a native serverless experience that lets you to go from the container to UIL within seconds for increased developer velocity. The keyword is a serverless container. There are four categories in compute and processing options. GCE in infrastructure as a service, GKE and cloud run for containers, GAE has standard and flexible options in platform as a service, and cloud functions in functions as a service. I collected the features comparison such as a scaling, language support, background processes, request timeout, and the others to help you select the right service in your exam. For example, if you just want to focus on the application development, but you do need to install the third-party binaries, then you should use App Engine, a fully managed serverless platform, but with a flexible option to support custom runtimes. Also, if you want to learn more on which serverless computer platform you should choose among Cloud Functions, Cloud Run, and GAE, then take a look at the serverless options decision tree. It will help you to understand the specific requirements such as the a stateless HTTP versus event-driven, need a Kubernetes versus configurable hardware, custom language, and a system binary, or the unit de uh, deployment. Well, this is what we have for today. Thank you for your time, and see you in the next lecture.